right, hello wonderful friends. We are here at the Hoffman Library today and you are here whoops, with trying to, to switch around and I cannot figure it out. <laughs> All right, so we'll just do it like this. Hello, it's Miss Julie. So excited to see all of you guys today. So we're here at Hoffman Library and you guys can see they are getting ready to reopen tomorrow. So they have these amazing signs. So we all know to cover our faces because that's super duper important, right? And we have to keep space between people, leave no trace, which is amazing because that is also a thing you should do in hiking, leave no trace. And then love this place, which I think is awesome because who doesn't love a library? and then plan your pace. That way you can be in and out of the library super, super duper fast, which is awesome because we wanna make sure that we are leaving enough time for everyone. All right, so we're here at the Hoffman Library and we are looking for Mr. Brandon and Miss Julia. Because if you guys remember, he's a wizard and he sent us places and it was very disturbing, but they left me these beautiful notes. See, so I've, I've still got them. They're wonderful notes from my wonderful friends. And they said to come here. So here I am at the amazing Hoffman Library. And everybody is super duper busy, you guys, because you guys have all heard the amazing news, right? The library is reopening tomorrow. So you guys can come down to Hoffman and you could even see if Mr. Brandon was here or look for where Miss Julia or Miss Julia might have been. All right, so we're gonna head into Hoffman. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. What did the sign say? The sign said we have to wear our mask. So, gotta put on our mask because it's super important, because we have to keep everyone safe. Safety first. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. We're going into Hoffman, and we're gonna see if anybody knows where Mr. Brandon is. All right, so look, you guys, a friend. All right. Octavia, oh. Mr. Octavia, have you seen Mr. Brandon or Miss Julia? I have not, but you I think not. they left some clues. <gasps> they left some clues? All right. Should we go into the library and look for clues? I think we should go look for clues. All right, you guys, if you think we should go look for clues, do a thumbs up. And if you think that, if you think Mr. Octavia was just trying to pull our legs and being kind of mean to us, do a sad face. Because then we'll just leave. We'll be like, no more Hoffman Library, and we will just peace out. So what do you guys think? Should we go look for some books? Hmm. Let's see. I'm going to kind of look around a little bit. All right. We should go look for some books. Go look around and see. I do see some things. So first of all, you guys, check this out. Look how cute that is. They've got little gnome houses. Oh my gosh, look at the little gnomes. They are so cute. And hey, you guys, that book looks like it's sticking out right here. Looks like it's sticking out right there, see? That's floating out there. Let's go look for more books. All right, let's go look for more books sticking out. Okay, let's see what we can find. Hey, look, there's another one right here. Oh, oh, there's another one right here and another one. Okay, so let's think, what do all three of these books have in common? So they're all sticking out and they're all in the nonfiction section. Is there anything else that you guys see? Wait a minute. They're all blue. Do you know who loves blue? Mr. Brandon loves blue. Every time we hang out and we play games, he always wants to be blue. Do you guys think Mr. Brandon left those for us to find? Oh, oh, we should leave them something. Okay, so let's go to the children's section and we are gonna find out if, what we can leave for Mr. Brandon. So, or Miss Julia. So Miss Julia knows that we were here. Okay, so here we are in the amazing children's section. And oh my gosh, you guys, look how cool those NASA posters are. Oh, you know what we could do is we could take one of the posters. Then they would know we were here. Oh, that would be a pretty cool thing. Let's see, what else could we do? Ooh, you know. Everybody knows that I am just a little obsessed with Harry Potter. It's just a little bit, tiny, little tiny bit, a little bit, 
Maybe we should pull out some of the Harry Potter books. Yeah, that might be a good idea. So what do you guys think? So let's do a heart if you think that we should pull out the Harry Potter books. And let's do an angry face if you think we should steal the poster. Because that would be kind of fun. Steal it in a poster. I know that it's kind of, oh, when it's in here we can take the mask off. You know, it's kind of destruction, like public property destruction, but you know, it might be okay. So what do you guys think? Heart for Harry Potter books and mm, angry face if we should steal a poster. Heart, okay. All right, Harry Potter books it is. All right, so let's walk right over here to the J2 section. And we won't pull out all of the books. Come on, switch around. It's not doing the switchy do. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so let's not pull out all the books because that would be a whole lot. Because look, Harry Potter starts here and it goes, woo, and then down here, woo. So why don't we do this? My favorite books are the first book and the fourth book. So let's pull out the first Harry Potter book. And there is another, I saw it up here. Oh, here's another first Harry Potter book. Oh, and, and we'll do that. And then we'll pull out the Fantastic Beast series because I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm a Hufflepuff. I'm a very proud Hufflepuff. And do you know who else is a Hufflepuff? Newt Scamander. Newt Scamander is a puff. So let's go ahead and let's leave out the Fantastic Beast, because I bet you Miss Julie will be like, Miss Commander, he's a puff. Miss Julie is a puff. Miss Julie must have been here. Okay, so we've done that. You know, I don't see a whole lot else going on up here because, of course, like I said, the library's not open yet. Should we go downstairs? I don't see a whole lot going on up here. What do you guys think? Should we go downstairs? The children's section is so pretty. All right, so if you think we should go downstairs, why don't you guys do a thumbs up? And... If you guys think that we should keep looking around the kids section, do a care. Because, I don't know if you guys know, but I heard, I heard, I heard you guys, the basement's haunted. I know, I know, I know. There's some scary stuff down there. Some scary, scary stuff in the basement. Whew. Okay, so do you guys think we should stay up here, do the care? Do you guys think we should just put on our brave face? Do the thumbs up and we will go to the basement. I'll wait and see what you guys think. Basement or hang out up here. You know, oh, they have a map of Marsh White. This is the coolest children's section ever. So we can hang out up here and we could learn more about NASA and space or we can go to the basement. What do you guys think? Mm, I think I saw a thumbs up. Okay, all right. So we're gonna put on our masks. I may lose you guys in the elevator. So if I lose you, Stay with me, okay? All right, here we go. Masking up. Safety first. We have to protect ourselves. Mr. Octavio, to everyone else who works at Hoffman, we have to be super, super nice to them. Okay, all right. We're gonna go into the basement. You guys, is it true the basement's haunted? They're nodding. Oh, okay. Okay, all right. So we're gonna go to the basement. Okay, all right, we're gonna take the elevator because there is no Wi-Fi in the stairs. Okay, so before we go, while we're waiting for the elevator, we have, let's get out, let's get out our stuffed animals. Because what do stuffed animals do best? They protect us from danger. All right, so we've got Evie. Evie's here. I've got that girl. All right, I've got a back door right here. All right, here we go. We're going down. If I lose you guys, I'm really sorry. Hang with me. All right, okay. So I lost you, but you're back. Okay, we're down in the basement. Shh, be very quiet. Shh, shh, what's that? Okay, okay, shh. That's nothing, it's okay. Okay, it's a little creepy down here, you guys. Look. Okay, all right, should I go left or right? Do a thumbs up for left. Do a heart for right. What do you guys think? Left or right? Left or right? Left. Right. Left.
left. Thumbs up. Right. Heart. What do you guys think? All right. Should we look around the corner? We'll use the stick to look. Okay, okay. More hallway. Wait, what about this way? Let's, let's turn this way. Oh, it's a dead end. Okay, you guys made a good decision. We're gonna go left. Okay, it's a very scary meeting room. Everything's all dark. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're still going. Okay, we're gonna go around the corner. And there's the door. Okay, let's go through the door. You guys ready? Let's see if it's let's see if it's locked. Okay. Oh, it's locked, but look, look, it's cracked open. Okay, we're gonna go through the door. Through the door into the scary basement. All right. Do you guys think we're gonna find ghosts in the basement? Oh my gosh. What do you guys think we're gonna find in the basement? Oh my goodness, it's. <gasps> ah! It's Miss Megan! Oh! Someone came to visit me in the basement! Yay! <gasps> Miss Megan! Hi! I've missed you so much. How have you been, Miss Megan? I. I've, I've been well, and how have you been, Miss Julie? I've been good. Your basement's very scary, but M Evie oh. and Batgirl protected me. Well, I'm glad. They chased uh, away all the monsters. I, I have a pet spider who comes around every now and then. Oh, that sounds a little terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Megan, should we hang out and do something fun together? I would love to do something fun. What would you like to do? Um, do you want to have a dance party? <gasps> do you guys have dance parties. Do you guys think we should have a dance party? If you guys think we should have a dance party, do a heart. And if you think we should not have a dance party, do a sad face. What do you guys think? Dance party? No dance party. Dance party. Come on. You know you want us to do a dance party. Absolutely. All right. Looks like dance party it is. Okay. <laughs> so we have to pick song then, Miss Megan. This is All so right. hard. I know. So I think if you guys do Clap Your Hands by Mr. John and Friends, do a heart. So thumbs up for Disco Hippo, and heart for Clap Your Hands. That is a really hard choice. I know. I'm glad we have people helping us. I know, because oh, we're reconnecting. Oh, we're back. Okay. All right. Let's see if we get any response. We'll get all set up here. Boop, boop, boop. Whoop. Sorry, friends. Okay. Here we go. All right. All right. Do we know? I don't see any yet. Hmm. You know, we should just pick. We should just, just pick. Oh wait, I see a thumbs oh. up. All right. Okay, that was that was disco hippo. Sure. Do you do you do you disco, Miss Megan? Do you disco? I'm more of a rock and roll girl, but I can disco for them. Okay. I right. can disco for you. We're guys. gonna disco for you guys. All right. Are you guys ready? All right. Here are we gonna disco hippo it up. Saturday night, Sunday night, disco hippo. Monday night, Tuesday night, disco hippo. Wednesday night, Thursday night, disco hippo. Friday night, every night, disco hippo. Rhinoceros can stomp his feet and make a booming sound. Chimpanzee can boogie side to side and upside down. Flamingo makes the scene in a pair of bright pink pants. We all know that hippo is the queen of the dance. Saturday night, Sunday night, disco hippo. Monday night, Tuesday night, disco hippo. Wednesday night, Thursday night, disco hippo. Friday night, every night, disco hippo. That giraffe is always last to leave the discotheque. A billion bugs are spinning like a cloud of groovy specks. Elephant can twirl and trumpet music from her snout. But when the spotlight swings, I think you know who's singled out. Saturday night, Sunday night, disco hippo. Monday night, Tuesday night, disco hippo. Wednesday night, Thursday night, disco hippo. Friday Here comes 
comes the rising sun, but the party lights are on. The night is fading out, and we see the coming of the dawn. All the tired animals are sleeping on the lawn. But there is one still dancing, and I think you know which one. Saturday night, Sunday night, disco hippo. Monday night, Tuesday night, disco hippo. Wednesday night, Thursday night, disco hippo. Friday night, every night, disco hippo. to show you guys look at that it's amazing <laughs> all right so no sign of mr brandon hmm no i wonder you know i bet you he went somewhere else okay so let's think if he went could have gone to central if you haven't been there could go to mlk that's his home branch or could have gone to talons all right, so let's do this. Do you guys think that I should go to Central? Do a thumbs up. Think I should go to MLK? Do a heart, do the care, do a little care. Because we care about Mr. Brandon. And if you think I should go to what might say is the best branch of all time, you know, my sole opinion, Talon's Reach, do a heart. Let me see what you guys think. And then I can figure out where we're going to go. Because Mr. Brandon's definitely not here, but he was here. We saw the books, and I think he was definitely here. So, what do you guys think? Where should I go next? Thumbs up, central. The care emoji, I'll go to MLK. And a heart, and I will go back to Talons. Let's see. Oh, what do you guys think? I don't know where to go. I know. Oh, I see a heart. Okay, so you know what that means. Back to talons. All right, well, there's only one thing to say about that. Only one thing to say. Ready? Oh. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. And off to talons we go!